I'm Tim Tollison, a professional trail and ultra runner for Hoka One One, and I am fresh off the 2021 UTMB, or the Ultra Trail de Mont Blanc. And for those of you that aren't familiar with the event, it's the de facto world championship every single year in ultra running. It is held in Chamonix Valley of France, and it's a really unique race where you run from France into Italy, then to Switzerland, back into France on a 106 mile single track loop, circumnavigating Mont Blanc with 33,000 feet of climbing and descent um, through just amazing landscapes throughout the Alps. Uh, with upwards of 10,000 runners that participate throughout the week, you can have 50 to 100,000 fans in the valley. It is basically the Super Bowl of our sport. So I have a pretty storied history with UTMB. I've been out to the valley six times now, and I've done as well as second place in the sister race CCC. I've podiumed twice at UTMB, taken third, and then I've had three DNFs in a row. And so I've kind of experienced every emotion that can come along with a big event like that. And in kind of reflecting on my experiences there, some of my best performances came from when that was my goal race. I dedicated in my heart you know, everything from, from my being into the race and the buildup. Um, this year I tried something a little different and I experimented with doing Western States, which is the most iconic 100 mile race in the world. Uh, it's the original kind of grandfather in the States. And I did my first 100 miler out there going from Olympic Valley to Auburn. And, you know, while that race went objectively pretty well, I taken fifth place there, I, I left knowing that I had so much left to give. And unfortunately I made the rookie mistake of leaving that race feeling like I had something to prove to myself and others. And I jumped right back into training instead of being respectful of the distance, the fatigue my body was carrying. And my training for UTMB began a few days after my finish at Western States. Not surprising, I started developing some lower leg issues, some, some little tendonitis that turned into bigger issues. And essentially I ran in pain for the final eight weeks prior to UTMB, which going into some a monster of a race like UTMB, I was in a pretty terrible position physically. Um, I had worse and less training that I, than I had ever had, but I also you know, was hoping that maybe you know, I'll roll the dice. You never know what might happen out there. I have a lot of lifetime mileage under my, under my belt. And so I decided that you know, I was out in the valley, should give it a go, but it didn't pan out the way I had hoped. And uh, I made it about halfway around the mountain before my body that was still trying to recover from states finally pulled the plug on me and said, that's it. So arriving in the valley was really a neat thing this year, coming off of the 2020 edition being canceled. Uh, it had been two full calendar years since being out in Chamonix. And so reuniting with our community was just something to be, like it was a special thing to be a part of. Uh, I was able to spend some time with other competitors uh, leading into the race, including some teammates and, such as Jim Walmsley. And, uh, and we you know, shared some, some thoughts about where we were heading in. And you know, we kind of actually, well, in the race, the first few miles, maybe five miles we ran together and, and we were joking how there's this sort of uh, funny narrative that American men struggle at UTMB and we don't have what it takes to win and you know the two of us have kind of proven that that's not the case we just have been up against titans of the sport each year with guys like francois and killian and uh, xavier and but uh we both kind of had this banter going back and forth the first few miles that people think it might be easy to come off of the western states heading into view team to perform that double but it's it's a really tough thing uh physically after a race that's run in 100 plus degree temps you know, it really beats you up. And, uh, and I think we both went into this race this year uh, banged up and, and you know, not in the, the place that we needed to be mentally or physically to, to really give it our best go. Personally, as I got out there, um, I hadn't been on trails for three weeks leading into the race. I was rehabbing on a treadmill and I got to the point where my pain had, was manageable enough that I thought I'd roll the dice and give it a gamble. Um, but the moment we hit our first steep downhill, which is properly steep, over a thousand feet per mile as you're descending down a ski slope, my leg instantly flared up. And then basically the next 40 miles, it just progressively kind of got worse. And you know, I, I was able to make it through most of the night, um, shared some miles with some Spaniards out there and you know it was, it was neat but I just my body wasn't able to do what I wanted to but I felt like I had to give it an, an effort uh, just you know the the race the fans myself um, they all kind of deserved that so I gave as much as I could until I couldn't go any further and you know I, I kind of just remind myself you don't have to be at your best to give your best and that's kind of the the mantra I was using out there and it wasn't my best day ever but I gave it my best on that day. 
So coming off of this disappointment, uh, I am gonna learn from my uh, mistake two months ago from trying to bounce back from Western States and actually take time off. It's something that I struggle with and I think a lot of athletes uh, uh, struggle with taking time off and separating from our sport. Um, but I have now, I'm on day 15 of no running and I am not signing up for any ultras immediately. I have learned that sort of that uh, vengeful sign up is a, is a recipe for disaster. So I'm looking towards something maybe later this fall or early winter to then get back out. But in 2022, really my focus is gonna be Western States. It's a, it's a race that's special in my heart and I, I feel like after taking one attempt at that, I, I'm starting to figure out the puzzle and curiosity has always driven my athletic performances. So I'd like to see what I can do out on those single track trails and then big, big picture, UTMB is, is still deep inside my heart. You know, I, I'm not gonna be satisfied till I top that podium. And I know that I have the capacity and the, uh, the mindset to be able to be successful again out there. Um, but I just need to be thoughtful with how I structure my season so that I don't do what I did this year and try to do too much because we can't do it all. We have to pick and choose. And as hard as that is, you know, it's the reality of life.